Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Finance Tube. Your friend and finance guru Vishal Thakkar is here today with basic building blocks of finance. Yes, finance is built on four basic blocks. And today's video, aptly titled as Double Entry Bookkeeping System, will explain how these four blocks work. So the four blocks are income, expense, asset and liability. So what are these four blocks? Well, the first two come from PNL, the other two come from balance sheet. These four blocks give us the basic understanding of how accountancy is created and how every transaction has two effects. So if you take any any financial transaction, it will have two effects. One on the cash flow, that is either the money comes in or money goes out. And second is either it's an income, expense, asset or liability. Well, it's very important to understand here. If you see the income and liability are in same color and asset and expense are in same color. Now, why do you think that we would have done so? Only for decoration? No, not really. There's a logic behind it. So what is the logic? The logic is that income and liability and asset and expenditure are linked with the most important word in business called cash flow. How? Let me explain. Every time money comes into the business, it is either an income or a liability. Every time a money goes out of the business, it is either expense or asset. Want to try? Let's take a few examples. For example, salary received. So tell me, if you receive salary from your point of view and not company's point of view, money is coming in or going out? Coming in, right? Now think whether this inflow, does it have any repayment obligation? Do you repay your salary to anyone? No, then it's an income. So whether a cash inflow is an income or a liability, is decided by the presence or otherwise of repayment obligation. So let's take another example. You take a housing loan. So money is again coming into your pocket. Now tell me, is it income or liability? It's a liability. Why? Because you have to repay this money to the bank over a period of time. So are we very clear that every cash inflow will be income or liability depending on the presence or otherwise of the repayment obligation. Let's go to the other side. Let's take an example that you paid rent for this month. So this is a cash outflow. Now tell me whether this is an expense or an asset. Of course an expense. Why? Because in one of our videos called capital expense versus revenue expense, we discuss that whenever there is a cash outflow, we have to think whether the corresponding benefit is of a short term nature or a long term nature. In case of rent, the benefit is of course of short term is because every month you have to pay rent. If you don't pay rent of next month, the landlord will throw you out of the house. So it's an expense. Let's take another example. You buy a house. This is a cash outflow. Oh yes, it is the biggest cash outflow of life. However, look at the benefit. The benefit is of long term, yes, longest of long term. Once you buy a house, nobody will throw you out, right? So it's an asset. So these are four building blocks of finance, which are linked with cash flow, income, expense, asset and liability. Income and liability are related to cash inflows. Whenever cash comes in, check for repayment obligation. If there is no repayment obligation, it's an income. If there is a repayment obligation, then it's a liability. Asset and expense are linked to cash outflows. Check for corresponding benefit. If a cash outflow entails a short term benefit, then it's an expense. If it entails a long term benefit, then it's a asset. If you like our videos and if you feel that this can benefit to students, professionals, housewife, common people, experts in different areas, don't forget to share these videos with them. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed till now, subscribe to our channel, Finance Tube.
we all know that people from non finance background struggle to manage their finances they hit the reality when they get their first paycheck and from then on they are all by themselves to manage their money on their own for lifetime it's like asking you to fly a plane without any formal training it's very risky so our endeavor through our books our videos and all other mediums is to educate you financially so that you don't outsource managing your own finances to somebody else and suffer because of inefficiencies of other people one of the best sellers and the fourth position on the best seller list finance for non finance internal rate of return is technically defined as the rate at which project breaks even or the rate at which the project cash flows are recovered